this is Apocrypha from Apoc Industries, and welcome to day 19 of Nightfall. Uh, last time we got our supply belt for ammo set up on our southern wall on the salmon line. Uh, today, I think we're going to look at uh, bringing this new line, which we're going to call the Duna line. Duna line! Um over to this coal patch, or at least towards the coal patch. It will require some uh, substantial amount of landfill, uh, but we are ready. When I say ready, I mean we have like six landfill, which is not nearly enough. Um, maybe we should actually set up some place which is uh, taking some of this extra stone that we have and just building landfill. That might be helpful. So we are going to do that. Do we have an assembler? We do. And you are going to be making landfill. Whoops. Oh dear. And you are going to be making landfill. Except you'll be doing it over here. How much rock do you take? Lots. Lots of stone. And we'll put a chest in the middle here, which is limited to, I don't know, a bunch. And some inserters. There. There we go. And that'll make landfill for us, because we're going to need a lot of it in order to bridge here, because I think that that's what we're going to do with the tuna line. We're going to just bridge this directly. The alternative would be to bring it up and around, which maybe we'll do. We'll see when we get there. First things first, we're going to make sure that we're stocked up on signals. Is there a pack chain? Yeah, not really. We'll pick up some more. And probably should grab some more large power poles as well, because we go through a lot of those. And we picked up some iron ore that we don't want to carry with us. Silly us. There. Where are power poles? We're here. Lights. We've got a lot of lights now. Not gonna run out of lights. I mean, I say that, but we might run out of lights. Or we might also run out of rails, but hey, it is what it is. We can feel confident uh, driving on our. Uh, on our rails manually right now because we don't actually have uh, any automated trains running yet. So once we actually have automated ra trains running on our tracks, we will feel a lot less confident about um, you know <laughs> driving manually. But for now, it's fine. And we will start to get some radar coverage. Where's my radar go? We'll start to get some radar coverage uh, on our interior here um, because there are some places where we don't have radar coverage. Okay. Not sure how far over this will go. It'd be really nice if we didn't have to. Like if we could get down through here, that would be pretty cool. We'll see, I guess, though. We 
get a point where we have to start making decisions about that? No, not quite yet. <clears throat> we may have to go back soon for rails because we're running up, starting to run a little low. Also, we need to address the fact that our old power infrastructure was not in a very friendly place for our train. It's all right, though. You going? What's going on here? Oh, it probably couldn't actually build that because of the power pole. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. What are we doing for rails? We have none left there. Uh, we can go maybe one more section, let's say. And then we do have to make a decision about here. Let's, uh, let's put a radar up. See what we can do here. Can be too much? No, we can carry it. We are very strong. Very strong. The issue with this path here is not that a rail wouldn't fit through it, it's that um, I don't think our um, our modular rails will fit through here. I think that that's where we're going to run into an issue. But let's play around with it a bit, and uh, we'll see. There. That'll give us visibility at least so that we can play around with some blueprints while, uh, while we're back home restocking. end of line do not and we'll head back here and while we're driving we will take a look at what this might look like because we could potentially have this come down like here. The the entry into it is not going to be an issue. It's going to be the the rest of it that's an issue, I suppose. Could we have a shift? A shift probably doesn't fit here at all. Right? No. No, not at all. Um. We could slip a straight in through here. That actually fits perfectly right in through here. And then we could get it back onto our modular uh, grid layout. Um, if we go like this and come on. Yeah, okay. Uh, if we go like this and only grab the large power poles. Um, then we could potentially see what, uh, like where it would have to end up, like here. So this is where it would have to be to be on our uh, on our grid, which looks like it might be doable. If 
we had um, like where'd that go? This here we have this. Uh, that, okay, so not like that. But if we had something like this. I guess the question is, which way are we going to want to be traveling out of here? Let's put... Um, we don't know yet. Let's put a T-junction here. Where's our T-junction? So if we put that there, it leaves us some space to maybe travel up north uh, through this wall here. Also leaves us the opportunity to go south, which we are definitely never going to want to do. Never mind. We are never going to want to go south. So we're going to take all this out. Um, hmm. Interesting. So, if we look at the map, where are we going to want to take this train line? This train line may eventually head more to the west. So, if anything, what we want here is a straight rail uh, or a junction, a station junction. Um, that could be used for uh, uh, the uh, the coal mine here. We could build our coal station like this, although that gives some pretty awful pathing through there. Because what we really want is for uh, this to be diagonal up through this way. Well, maybe we build around that, and we build a, uh, a custom station entry um, around the uh, around the coal mine there. Because if we put, where is it? Ah, where did it go? But if we put this straight through here, then. Uh, well, we won't be able to... No, sorry, our... Our train has to go straight through here. That's something we can figure out, because this, this would have to path up like something like this in order to uh, be able to put gates. You know? like this. You know, so, something like that. Uh, and then we could actually put gates here and have this uh, get back on track. Ah, back on track. Okay, so we would, we would uh, come through here and kind of build some custom rails. Um, through this little line here, and otherwise uh, we would want that entry to be perhaps somewhere around here we could do, and it would look like this. And that is something I think we can work with. Okay, so that in mind, um, we are not going to need a whole lot of landfill. What we are going to need is a whole lot of rails. What did you do with all that stone? Oh, I thought I grabbed it. I guess I didn't. Are you full? Not dead. All right. 
a lot of lights. You always use more signals. Toss those in there. And we're going to grab some more deforestation bots too because um, we are going to be building a lot uh, through treed areas. All right, should be good enough for now. Let's go back to end of line tuna. We're also going to build a fancy sign, um, so we'll take a look at that as well. <laughs> Maybe not right now. First things first. First thing we're going to do is get rid of trees. And we're actually going to lower the radius of this a bit. There. There are a lot of trees along here. We came prepared. Then we'll quickly toss on this so that uh, we at least know where our um, line has to line up. We can set this to trees and rocks only and pick up all of this junk. All right. And we also are just going to use our deforestation bots to clear out this area here. All right. Cool. So that should all be set up and ready to go. Um, we're going to back our train up a little bit so that it can follow uh, the proper path, and we're going to get rid of this stuff, all right. This should just drop down now. Yes, okay. The other thing that we're going to do is take out our temporary uh, power poles that are down here. It should be turning. Perfect. Okay. And. Oh, I guess uh, a lot of this stuff isn't building because it was built on trees. That's okay. That is okay. We can fill it in. We know how it's supposed to work. Cool. And now we figure out how to bridge the gap. does not involve you, I suspect. Alright. Let's see. If we could have this come here and then perhaps like this then we can build the other line uh, the other side of it um, kind of in line with that all 
Why isn't that building? Oh. That's why. Okay. Some of this should be okay. Maybe we'll toss a uh, straight rail uh, plan in here. Would that fit? Just about, huh? Let's do this. Did we? Okay, there we go. isn't quite right, but we will make it right. It's too bad that they don't quite reach. But it's okay. Boop, boop. go. So we have it connected now. And almost connected up here. And we'll get our signals figured out. Actually, if we shift all of this over just a little bit, then uh, perhaps... And just get rid of all of this. There is a signal in here somewhere, okay. This was one that was kind of not nice. We should be able to bridge this with uh, two. I am sure of it. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, so that is that. Um, the next thing that we need is signaling and also some wires because we're. Whoops. Well, don't need that. Um, because we're still connecting these with wires for some reason, even though we don't really need to be. Just in case we ever do need them, they'll be there. Okay, and some red wires. Looks nice anyway. More professional. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to try and figure out is our signaling. Um, so, what we have here is enough room for, uh, you know, a length of six. That is what we want to have pretty much everywhere. So we'll take out these signals. Yeah, well, I'm not looking to mine the train here, buddy. And maybe here. And this is, while it's not perfect, it is good enough for our purposes. Cool. And we can toss all of our junk in the trunk. Perfect. And we may... Is there room? Wait, did we run out of rails? No. Did we run out of robots? Did we run out of anything? What's going on here?
Uh, do we have any gates? We do not right now, but could. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we have enough room here for an end of line, do we think? Just about. Just about. Well, let's put it somewhere where it'll fit. Like here. end of line tuna. Perfect. There we go. And then we'll be able to build a weird little intersection and station off of here. Um, fantastic. Do we have enough radar coverage over here? Uh, looks like we could still use an extra radar in the middle here. The timing worked out really well because it is now the morning. Great. So we'll just head back home. Nice. This is a beautiful little train line here. Through the woods, across a little uh, causeway here. And then off into the unknown. Excellent. We still don't know where any copper is, but we're gonna hope to find some at some point. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much. This has been uh, day 19 of Nightfall. I look forward to catching you next time.